Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 tutorial for 2024. Today we're going to be teaching you how to install Simple Trainer. What Simple Trainer is, it's a mod menu that allows you to go in God mode. You can basically make it where there's no NPCs in the game. So you get rid of all cars, all NPCs. You can also go ahead and fix your vehicle, upgrade your vehicle. You can change the color of your vehicle. You could spawn any vehicle that's inside the game in and you can change the time and day up. You can also change the weather. And you can also add tons of money to your account, especially if you're playing single player as Michael, Trevor, or Franklin, you would definitely want all that money you can get. So what we're going to do is go ahead and show you guys how to install this. It's very simple, very easy. Let's go ahead and get started. So for everything that we're going to be installing, we're going to be installing Simple Trainer, Script Hook V. And if you guys do not have anything to open up these zip files, because when you do download Simple Trainer, you are going to be opening up a zip file. So you need something to open that zip file. If you do not have anything, I would recommend WinRAR. WinRAR right here, if you guys are, click the link that I have down in the description, you guys can go to the 32-bit one or the 64-bit one, whatever your PC recommends. And we are going to go right here. I use 64-bit. You're going to click on that. You're going to go and click open file right here. It's going to send you here, ask you if you want to make changes, click yes. And then you're going to go ahead and click install. So we're going to install it and then we're going to click OK and then we're going to click done. You guys can read through all this before you click on it, but I'm going to click done. I've been through it multiple times. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and click done. So now that is downloaded to your PC. We'll show you how to use it here in a second. So all this is linked down in the description. So make sure you guys go ahead and start opening this stuff up by clicking the links down below. So Simple Trainer is going to be the first thing we download and Script Hook V will be the second thing we download. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and click download here. And we're going to go ahead and open that up. For those of you that just installed WinWare, I'll show you how to open these files up. If it does not show this right here and says open file, what you guys want to do is go down here, go to your downloads folder, and you're going to go right here where it says Trainer V. You're going to right click on it and open with WinWare, just like this, and it's going to open that file up. So, what we are going to do right here is we are going to go to Steam, and we're going to open up our GTA 5 main directory. So I'm going to go Steam Library, Grand Theft Auto 5, right click, manage, and browse local files. That's going to pull up our GTA 5 main directory. If you guys have Grand Theft Auto 5 through somewhere else, just find out where you uh, where, where you can find your GTA 5 main directory, and you can follow these same steps. But for those of you that have it through Steam, as long as you follow them steps, we are on the right page. So we are going to stay right here, and then we are going to pull that download up. So you want two files out of here. You want trainerv.asi and trainer.ini. These are the two files that you want. You're going to drag and drop into your GTA 5 main directory. Make sure you're not over any folder. If you go over any folder and take this and drag it over the folder, it's going to drop it in the folder and it won't work. So make sure you guys, every single one of you just click over here to the side and then just take the trainerv.ini and the trainerv.asi, drag and drop over here. If it asks you to replace, replace the files in the destination, go ahead and do it. If not, since you're just installing this, these files won't be in there. So it's just going to drag and drop, and you'll be able to find them in there. So you'll see right here in your GTA 5 main directory, you have the two files in there. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and download Script Hook V. Script Hook V, I have the link down below. What you guys want to do is go right here where it says download. So you're going to scroll down to the bottom and go where it says download. So click right there. And then you're going to go ahead and open file right here. And we are going to go ahead and pull our GTA 5 main directory back up. So we're going to go ahead and go inside the script hook V file. We're going to go to the bin folder, click in there. And we're going to take these three files, drag and drop into our GTA 5 main directory. Again, make sure you're not hovered over any folder. Just drag it to the side or down here. So just like that, I'm going to replace the files in the destination due to the fact I already have it installed. It should ask you to replace one of the files regardless, but if it does, just replace all the files. If it doesn't and you dragged and dropped in there, you're good to go. So now what we're going to do is jump inside GTA 5, show you everything that this uh, trainer has to offer, and then also show you how to work the trainer. So let's go ahead and jump inside GTA 5. So now that we're inside GTA 5, we're just going to walk you through the simple steps of using Simple Trainer. So if you hit F3 on your keyboard, it's going to pull up the menu. You can see it over here to the left-hand corner of your screen. 
To use this menu, you can, you can use the numpad to the right side of your keyboard. Make sure numlock is not on. If it is on, it's not going to allow you to use it. So if you hit the number two, it's going to make you go down in the menu. Okay, you can see the letters light up blue and it'll let you know what section you are on. If you hit the number eight, it will make you go up. Okay, so if you guys do not have the numpad to the right side of your keyboard, you can also use the controller. The controller is the same as any menu using a controller. You just go up with the D-pad and down and then A to go inside the section that you want and B to back out of it. Okay, for those of you using numpad, if you want to go inside what you're looking at, so we're going to go to options. So for options, you guys can go through here and again, press an eight to go up and two to go down. Um, you guys can go always God mode. So you could turn that on by enabling it. You can make it where you're never wanted by police. So you can just run around the map and do whatever crazy stuff y'all do. Um, so you can make it where you're never wanted. If you don't want that, you could just disable it. If you don't want to be in God mode, you could just disable it. To do this, you guys need to hit the number five on your keyboard. Okay. So number five on the numpad to the right side of your keyboard. If you hit the number five, it will enable or disable. So um, that's how you go ahead and click on what you want. So if I want to make my player visible, all I have to do is just click five and I'll make them invisible. And then if I want to make them visible, I hit five again and it'll make them visible. So you got fast swim, you got fast run, you got super jump in here. So if you guys wanted to use super jump, you could just enable that and you'll be able to super jump. So let's go ahead and try that real fast. And there you go, you got super jump right there. So if you don't want that no more, you could just disable it. I'm gonna go walk back up here and we're going to go back through the menu some more so right here you got add money so if you guys want to add money to your player's account so say you're using trevor franklin michael whatever you're doing you can add money to their account so let me switch over to i'm going to go model spawning right here and i'm going to switch over to franklin so i'm going to switch to franklin and what we are going to do is we are going to go to options and we are going to add money to add money again you press the number five and you can just hold it down. It's going to add $100,000 to your account at a time. So it's just going to keep going through it until you don't want no more money. So there you go. You got that money added. You can make it where there's no cars in the game, no NPCs. You can make it where there's no trains. The choice is yours. You got infinite stamina. So if you want to run and not run out of stamina, you can enable that right there. We got vehicle options. You can make vehicle god menu, vehicle god mode. Um settings so basically you could keep your vehicle clean you could change certain stuff in here vehicle collision proof explosion all that good stuff um so you can always have god mode on your vehicle if you guys want to spawn your vehicles to go through the menu and go back out of the menu so say we go into options and we don't want to be in here no more you're going to hit the number zero the number zero will bring you back so you can go back to the main menu so uh two to go down we're going to go vehicle spawning if you guys have emergency vehicles in, you could just go to the police vehicle that you're going to use. So police three, it will spawn our V. Uh oh, spawn our vehicle in. Let me get back up there, and uh, we have our police vehicle in. So if you guys want, if you have add-on vehicles, so you could get any default vehicle in the game that you want. You can just go through here, click five, find the vehicle that you want. If you want a bulldozer, you go and grab that. Um, whatever vehicle you want and if you guys have added on vehicles which i do not since i'm reinstalling my game right now um you guys can go through here and you can see down at the bottom of the menu right here for vehicle spawn menu you can see let me change it to a spot where you can see it better um this is added vehicles menu if you hit five on that it will show you all your added vehicles okay so if you guys have add-on vehicles that is where you're going to find them and um let's go ahead and go to vehicle options so inside this vehicle, you go to vehicle options, say you want to upgrade the engine. So you go vehicle mod menu, and if you go down, so any vehicle that you get that's default inside the game, you could change the front bumpers up and all that good stuff. So this has, um, it looks like it has a wraparound push bar. You have the rear bumper and stuff. Um, some of this stuff you really don't want to mess with with the uh, police vehicles that you add on. I just come in here and go to engine. So you can see engine. If I hit the number six, it will make it go to the right and it will upgrade it to the four. But usually when I come in here and it says engine zero, I hit four and it takes it to the automatic uh, level four upgrade. So again, for brakes, I'm gonna hit four. It'll take it to the uh, level three race brakes. Then transmission, I'll hit the le number four and it will take it to the race transmission. Okay, you got suspension in here. You can lower your vehicle. 
you can set it to wherever you want it um, with these levels that they have I usually keep it zero you got armor on the vehicle you could change the wheels up on your vehicle you could put turbo you could change the headlights the window tint you could take the window tint off uh for like sheriff 2 and fbi 2 they usually come with window tint and mess your lights up so this is a way to go ahead and take care of that you also have in here underglow um, vehicle color menu so you could change it up i can make the vehicle chrome um however you want it and there is the menu for all the vehicles spawning and vehicle option you have bodyguards so you could spawn a uh, bodyguard to help you out so if you want you know people to be there to help you out you can do that i don't usually use that um you got mission help you got model spawning so again you could change up your your player you could go spawn trevor you could go in here and spawn trevor if you want trevor to do a nice little dance um you could go through here and go to animation menu so let me try to get to a good spot you can go to animation menu go in here and where it says loop animation enable that and then go search animations and type in dance and you could go through these usually i click the number six and go to over here and we use this one so if we go back trevor's sitting here dancing doing his thing he's going to do it until you cancel that animation so if i hit f3 go to model spawning and go to animation and go to cancel current animation right here it's going to go ahead and cancel that and i'll be able to move around again you guys could change the time of the day up so say you want it to be afternoon noon if you want it to be night however you want it you guys could change it you can also go here where it says set hour of day you get the number six to go through it or the number four to go back and you can change the hour of the day up just like that you can also change the minute of the day up and if you guys want to freeze the time you could just freeze the time you can also freeze the game where you know nothing's really moving it moves very very slow um yeah real time duration so basically it's going to keep it real time and uh sync time to system time so to your pc time um so let's go ahead and do that right there perfect and what we are going to do is go to weather you guys could change the weather up so say you want it to snow you can make snow on the ground just like that you can disable the snow you can force weather so say you want it to rain you can force that where it's going to rain disable that and then you can change your weather to whatever you like i'm gonna put it back to overcast and there you guys go you guys now have simple trainer inside your game you guys can do the weapons right here so if you guys want to go through here and get all weapons you can also go through here and go to weapons attachments intent menu and let's go ahead and pull out we'll pull out our pistol so our pistol right here if we wanted to change our pistol and um put an extended clip on it or say we wanted to put a suppressor on it so you see there's no suppressor there if i hit five it's gonna put our suppressor on it so there you guys go you guys are ready to go have fun with this menu and we'll see you all in the next one thank you all for watching do me that one favor if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button help us reach 100,000 subscribers and also smash that like button we'll see you on the next one stay blessed stay safe peace